What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 7 running KitKat using a Mac computer. Okay, so um, let's get started. First thing you need to do is enable USB debugging, which is easy enough, going into developer options, and making sure that that check is on when it says USB debugging. You don't have developer options, just go into about tablet, tap on the build number until the toast notif not until the toast notification comes up saying you're a developer and then you can go back and enable USB debugging. All right. So uh with your device connected, just power it down and we're going to go into fast boot mode. Sorry, bootloader. Power it down and when it's powered down, you're going to hold um you're going to hold so you can see here the power and the volume down button at the same time so that when it actually comes back it's gonna be in bootloader mode so I'm holding it down right now oh you can see me awesome alright there we go alright that's all we need for the device right now we'll come back to this later alright now back on our Mac you will need two things thankfully Android Roots provides them for us you will need the one click root toolkit and the one click um, unlock bootloader toolkit which are super easy to get and are provided in the article on iOS Softmodder. All right, so you have those two things. I put them into one file because it's just easy to keep track on my desktop. And all you're going to do is run them. First one, you're going to unlock your bootloader. This will wipe your device, so I suggest making a backup. In the article, I provided a, a method of backing it up. Or if you have your own, go ahead and do that. But just so you know, this will wipe your device. All right, unlock bootloader, click on it, open it up, and you see this little Android, select him, and the command prompt comes up, and it just tells you to be in fast boot mode and hit enter when you're ready to unlock. Uh, mine's already unlocked, so I don't have to do this, but it takes a couple of seconds, and it unlocks it. And you'll be able to notice on your device because it says lock state unlocked. All right, so after that, you're going to go back, locate the uh, Nexus it's called the Nexus 7 dot root whatever you're gonna open that up and you're gonna click on the Android again it says root Nexus 7 alright so all we're gonna do is um, go through the prompts until it tells us to go into our custom recovery which it installs hit enter yes I understand USB debugging whatever enter alright so in a couple of seconds it's gonna tell me to um, do some things in the uh, custom recovery. Alright, so right now it's saying ready to install, press 1, then press enter. Alright, now let's go back to the device. Alright, on the device, we're going to navigate using the uh, the volume keys until we go down, until it says recovery mode, then select pressing the power button. So that's basically how we're going to navigate from here on out. The volume up and down and enter is uh, the power button. So we're going to go into recovery mode. Now I'm just going to repeat exactly what they are telling me to do. So we're in recovery. First thing you want to do, go to install zip. Select. Choose zip from SD card. And then choose the uh, zero slash option. Then all the way at the bottom, you should see the update super SU version 1 whatever zip. All you're going to do is uh, select that, install, yes please, and it should look like that. And when you're done, you're just going to select to go back, reboot system now. Alright, so I'm back, we rebooted. Alright, so obviously you want to check and make sure we're rooted, so go into Google Play and download Root Checker. It's a free application and it does exactly as it says. It verifies root. So as you can see here, verify root. Wait for results. Congratulations, this device has root access. Awesome. So uh, remember, all the links and everything are provided in the article on Nexus 7 Softmodder. But if you've already, if this worked out for you, then thanks. You can leave the video. But if you were in recovery mode and you did not see the um, Super SU file, then don't worry. I got your ass. All right. So let's go back. 
Alright, so on my Mac I have this um, program, it's free, called uh, Android File Transfer, and it works awesome with um, my my Mac. Sometimes I won't open, you just have to unplug and replug the USB, and it'll open by itself, as you see there. Alright, so sometimes I noticed that the uh, super user zip wasn't on or in the... Um, the recovery or the SD card so what you have to just do is manually place it which is easy enough because it's provided inside the uh, the root folder so open up the root folder remember this alright so right here it says update SU whatever zip this is it all you're gonna do is uh, let's show you better I'm gonna put it on my desktop all you're gonna do is with your phone running regularly, so not in fast boot mode or anything, and this is open, the uh, file transfer, you're just gonna transfer the file. You're gonna place it in here, so it's now on your SD card. Mine's already on there, you can see it down here. So uh, you can go back into fast boot mode, like I showed you, holding down the, uh, the power and the volume down, and you can go back into recovery and run everything the same, select zip, select zip from SD card, then you're gonna do the zero slash and when you go all the way down you're now gonna see um, update super user version 180 zip and you're just gonna run that like we did earlier so uh, hopefully this helps you cause um, don't wanna leave you with your pants down so um, remember check out the full article I cover everything links are provided and uh, subscribe comment thanks for watching guys